In this SureDash tutorial, I'm going to show you how to drip your course lessons. Let's get started by creating a course. We'll call it our dripped course demo and click continue. I'll go ahead and choose to publish and click create space. Next, I'll go under content and I'm going to add a couple of different pieces of content here in order for us to utilize it when we try to set up our drip. All right, I've added some lessons inside of my two different modules. You can see here I have three lessons in my course and I want to drip them out one by one so that somebody gets access to the first lesson and then the next day gets access to lesson two and so on. To do this, I'm going to utilize Sure Members and I'm going to create a new access group. I'll call this my dripped course. Now I need to select the content that's going to be inside of this access group. And to do that, I'm going to go to my protected content. I'm going to protect specific posts, pages, and taxonomies. And now before I go further, I do hope in the future, and I'll make a little note, I'll add like a pinned comment if this is the case. I hope they add courses here um, for SureDash so you can click on it and then select your course. But for now, we're going to specifically add those individual lessons. We're going to look for our SureDash overview, which is what we called lesson one. There it is, sub content, we'll select that. We'll go ahead and add another one. Lesson two was called workshops in SureDash. There it is, we'll select that. And our third lesson was called creating value creates trust or creates trust, there it is. We'll select that. So those are the three lessons in our course. You would wanna go through and add all of yours. Again, if they create a better way for doing this, I'll definitely make note of it in a pinned comment. So now that we've selected the content that we're protecting in our dripped course, we need to come down to drip content and we need to add drip content. For this, we're gonna add our second lesson first because our first one unlocks by default right away. So they get access to that as soon as they get access to our access group. So I'll add in lesson two and lesson three here. Now for our drip type, we will do after duration for this because I said we wanted to give lesson two on day two and lesson three on day three. Uh, you could choose on specific dates if that was relevant to how you were dripping. So for us, we'll just say after one day, and I did make a mistake here. We're not releasing lesson three right away. We are going to add more dripped content and I'll put lesson three down here as our second drip. So this is a tad cumbersome if you have like a 50 lesson course. I do hope that they refine this in the future now that SureDash is part of the SureCrafted ecosystem, but this is how you do it. So let's go ahead now and let's save our access group. We do need to set an unauthorized access before we can click save access group. Again, that's something I do hope that they perhaps change because you don't necessarily have to have this in order to use sure members, which I actually showed uh, in one of my videos where I did the conditional display. We didn't use the redirect or anything, but I will just go ahead and put in my portal page so that it's just for now, it's just a placeholder. I'll go ahead and save this access group. I've gone ahead and logged into a user that got access to this dripped course access group. I'll go ahead and go to my course here, drip course demo, and I'll go to access module one, SureDash overview. And there we go. I have the lesson, which is currently empty. And if I try to access lesson number two, what's going to happen is it's going to tell me that this content will be available in 23 hours and 58 minutes. That's when this user gets access to the content. And if I go down to lesson three, you'll see the mistake that I made that I wanna correct, which is I set one day for this drip as well. So what we need to do is go back in and say, instead of one day for each of these, lesson two unlocks in one day, lesson three unlocks in two days. So let's go back and correct that mistake. Let's come back into our dripped course, click edit. Coming back here, after one day is incorrect, this should have been after two days. And I can go ahead and save my access group. So that is currently how you drip content using Sure Members with SureDash. There are a couple of things that I would love to see improved on in the future. I would love to see the option to customize what is shown when content is still locked. Uh, for example, rather than just saying this content unlocks in 23 hours and 57 minutes, I would like if I could like use the block editor to create like a little locked icon, maybe a custom message that says like, you don't have access to this yet, something like that to make it a little bit more you know, customized rather than just plain text inside of that. I would also like for there to be the option to hide content that has not yet been unlocked. So this would require a somewhat stricter integration between Sure Members and SureDash perhaps at the course level when setting up the course that would allow us to say, this is going to be a drip fed course. What happens when a lesson is not yet unlocked, display a little lock icon, maybe gray out the featured image, something for us to indicate to the users on the front end that they don't have access to it before they click on it or so that they don't even see it at all and they won't have to click on it that way, but that it gets drip fed out. Regardless, this was a very easy to implement way of dripping out course content, utilizing the SureCrafted ecosystem as it stands today. If there's any updates to this video or if something minor changes, I'll put the update in a pinned comment so that you can review that. So be sure to check down below if this video is a little bit older.
But that's it for this tutorial. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you'd like more Sure Dash content, and I'll see you in the next one.